Shipping is integrated inside SAP Business One. For example, we're looking at a sales order here from Microchips. They want us to generate a quote for them on what the shipping cost will be. They prefer UPS Ground. You can see it's set as their default. There are other options that you can pick and obviously override on the order level. And uh, let's go ahead and generate this sales quote for them using UPS Ground. First, let's verify their address just to make sure that it's a valid address. We're doing this through UPS, through their tool address validation application. Looks like we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and generate our shipping quote. Our shipping quote is going to be based on what the customer wants, uh, UPS ground. Of course, you can select any of these other options. And if they want to do insurance or Saturday delivery or any of those things, it can be an additional cost, but maybe it's necessary for them. We can also come over and select the size of the box that we're talking about is required to ship this item out. We've got their volume. We've got their weight. Let's go ahead and generate their quote. We could also use tier pricing if we'd like. This quote that we're looking at here now is direct from UPS. You can see our total comes to $14.45. We're going to go ahead and enter this into our sales order. It'll show up as a freight line item and uh, will be captured on the order. So now they have a total cost on what it's going to take to get this item shipped. And then again, after we've copied this down to a delivery note, you can simply come back on any of these marketing documents, a sales order or the delivery, and we'll be able to track down uh, the tracking number where the package is in its transit to the customer. Inside SAP, it's pretty simple to track what's happening with your sales orders for your customers and when they can expect to receive those items uh, that you sent out to them.